Good morning, it's Thursday, we have dry weather, should be dry all day today and tomorrow hopefully, so fingers crossed on that. It rained a tremendous amount yesterday. <laughs> I did say we wanted to wash the boat down and we did do that yesterday afternoon. It wasn't a very pleasant time to do it, but we got it done. I didn't do any filming of that. Washing the boat is not a very exciting subject, but it is something we needed to do. The cabin sides were rather dirty from the wash down on Monday. I'm now gonna crack on with the priming of those areas that need touching up along the gunnels. And once that's done, we're going to black both sides of the boat. We still have this side to black. <laughs> I did a little bit at the back yesterday, but apart from that, the whole side needs to be done. And we'll give a second coat to the other side. So that is the plan at the moment. Catch up with you later. I'm Alan. I own a 45 foot narrow boat, have an interest in industrial heritage, transport and technology and invite you to join me as I cruise, repair and maintain my boat and visit events and places of historic interest. Well that's the first side touched up, I've got on reasonably well, <laughs> lots of small spots as you can see. Now I need to do the other side, then I need to do where the tunnel stripes are on the stern of the boat. The red one has uh, disintegrated badly along the bottom. Well I've now touched in this side, so now to do the stern. Well that's the priming finished, I've been round both sides of the boat and I've finished off the back here. I think now it's time for a well earned cup of coffee and then Sally and I will be out to black the other side of the boat and a bit later this side. We're just starting to black this side of the boat, the sun briefly showed its head just now, I've got a new roller. I'm hoping this will be a lot better than the one I used the other day. A new handle for it and a new roller. This is actually a Harris roller, it's the only one I've got of that make, so I'm hoping it will do a good job. very nearly finished this side, just a little bit behind me to do and then we're going to crack on with the other side. Probably just have a moment's rest but I've got uh, plenty of blacking in my tray that I need to use. The sun is out and things are drying off very quickly. Just doing some of this as best as I can for the moment. <laughs> so this side has been blacked for the first time. I've just done a little bit under the counter there. I'll look at that another time to make sure that gets a good second coat. Sally has immediately gone round the other side and is carrying on and I'm going to go and join her. The second coat goes on a lot more easily than the first coat. We're getting on very well here at the moment. Well I did say I would come under here to do this <laughs> and as you can see I'm here. On the other side I stretched out a little bit from up top as it were and rolled it underneath but I will go round there in a minute and do this there. Oh, the other thing to mention is we've got to do the weed hatch. 
both the cover and the box itself which is built into the stern of the boat. Blacking the side we'd already done was very quick indeed. So this side has been done twice now and the other side once. So we'll do that again tomorrow. We're just going to have a cup of tea and then we're going to sort out the weed hatch. I'll take the cover out, we'll bring it down here so it can be blacked. And the actual box of the weed hatch which is built into the boat We'll scrape that down, cleaning it up a bit, and then we'll black that as well. Seems extra tight. This is the weed hatch cover that needs to come out. If we look down here, we can see the propeller and the ground beneath. So this is the box here that needs to be scraped down and then blacked. This is the weed hatch cover, which I've just taken out from the uh, weed hatch box inside the boat. Sally is going to rub this down with a wire brush and a scraper and this as well and tidy this base plate up and this column. <laughs> I could be here some time. While Sally is scraping the cover outside, I'm going to scrape down here and tidy this up. It's not an easy thing to clean up, but I've done the best I can. As far as I'm concerned, it's now ready for blacking. Sally is just finishing the weed hatch cover now. You've done a great <laughs> job there, thank you very much. <laughs> you happy with it? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I'm just giving the rudder a second coat. just touched up the cream part of the tunnel stripe. We're losing the weather now. It looks as though it might rain. I've not had the chance to check anything. There is a breeze and a bit of a chill now, but we're getting on well. So that's what's important. important to get this in the right position that goes there and then we tighten this up well I think that's it for today we've been quite busy we've got on fairly well Sun is trying to come out again which is good tomorrow should be another dry day and we hope to get a lot more done catch up with you then bye for the moment just having a cup of tea before I start. And a slice of toast. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's day five, being out of the water. The plan today is to rub down the gunnels using the orbital sander, rub down on both sides, use the tacky cloth to clean up all the frass and so forth and then I'm going to roll of these and use a brush to paint them. The other thing I want to do today is to black the other side of the boat and also to paint the red tunnel stripe at the rear. So quite a busy day ahead. There's lots of other bits and pieces to be done as well but let's see how we get on. It 
has taken off the the top part as it were the little knobbly bits you get but it's not really smooth I'll carry on with this for the moment and see how I get on I've decided to paint this side of the boat first before I rub down the other side what I'm doing I'm actually rollering and then brushing because when you use a roller you get a lot of air bubbles and by brushing afterwards it removes the air bubbles I've finished my first paint pour and what I've done is the gunnels along this side I haven't done the top part yet but I've decided that I will rub down the other side using the orbital sander and then I'll crack on finish painting along here and then move straight round to the other side I think that's a better approach so that's what I'm going to do now I'm taking a completely different approach to painting this side of the boat I started by thinking well I'll paint the white parts first that's the it's a great primer really um, so I was touching in and I realized I was getting a far better finish just by painting the gunnels with this brush this is a Hamilton brush two inch brush and it's doing quite a good job as you can see it's covering very well indeed so I'm going to carry on using my brush for now and <laughs> see how I get on In a way, things have gone horribly wrong, or perhaps not as I expected. <laughs> I do feel rushed being here for a week. We've lost at least a day and a half for rain. One day we couldn't work at all, virtually. What with wanting to black the boat and do the gunnels and other bits and pieces, the tunnel stripes, for example, it puts a lot of pressure on us because we're having to work in between the bad weather obviously when things get wet you can't paint them and tomorrow Saturday morning <laughs> I've agreed to do a Watford lock stint I volunteer there and they were so short of people and they couldn't find anyone and I agreed to do it it'll be the first time I've been to Watford locks this year so I thought I should show my face but I'm sort of regretting it a little bit because of the time constraints on doing the job. I used a new tin of paint round the other side. I'll show you in a moment. The colour looks absolutely peculiar. The blue paint covers the red oxide primer far better than this sort of grey white primer that I used the other day. I think that's part of the problem. It looks a real mess that side. So coming on to this side, I thought I'll touch in with the paintbrush first over the white bits, then I'd go over it. But I realised that the brush I was using, which is a good makeup brush, a Hamilton, um, was doing a good job. So I just carried on and painted the whole side. I'm not going to pretend there are no drips, because there are. But I know that it's a good coverage. I can't be too fussy. Time doesn't allow for it to dry out, rub it down and do it again. But let me show you what's happened on the other side. Then you'll understand. The colouring just looks so different to this side. It's peculiar. I'm going to try and walk around the boat and show you how different the colouring of the paint looks. So here it looks a normal sort of colour. And when I come round to this side, how different it looks. So I think when I go over this, I'll go over it with a brush and hopefully that will make things much better. But I do wish I'd use the red oxide primer and not this whitish gray stuff. I just want to mention that these sort of dings on the boat here were there when I bought the boat. It's not anything that I've done. There are two sort of recesses here where the boat has been dinged. 
I noticed them particularly when I was just looking at the film I recorded and I thought I should say something about it. We're just having a well-earned break, <laughs> lunch or late lunch as I late often lunch. do. <laughs> windy now. It doesn't look too bad from a distance. I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> We're about to crack on now and give this its second coat and then I'll go around the other side and top up the blacking on that side as well. I'm just touching in the blacking with the blue paintwork so we get a nice sort of straight edge it can't be straight because it's a bit wavy because of all the welds and things like that but I'm um, just been going along on the boat and I'm nearly finished <laughs> and it's been quite a tiring day I have to say I'll, I'll be glad to, to pack up today and Sally's with me she's uh, behind the camera at the moment <laughs> but um, She's done a lot as well today, so I'm going to say um, bye for now and I'll catch up with you tomorrow sometime. I did say earlier I'm at Watford Locks tomorrow, so <laughs> I'm going to lose a bit of time on this job there. Anyway, bye everyone. Catch up tomorrow. Hello everyone. It's Saturday afternoon. I've been volunteering at Watford Locks this morning assisting boats up and down through the flight and now I'm going to crack on again with my boat. I have made rather a mess of this side. It is unfortunate. The blue paint, Oxford Blue, did not take well on this side using a roller with a foam sleeve over the white or the greyish primer that I put on and it somehow seemed to affect the, the colour shading. So I'm starting the game basically. <laughs> I've been right along the side now, I'm just using my tacky cloth to clean off the, the dirt, do that. And I've decided that I'm going to brush paint this side and see how I get on with it. It was quite successful on the other side, I've got plenty of paint now and I can give it two coats if I need to. I've just been touching in some of these areas where it's rather white so that when I paint over them they'll show even less. Just touching in this back corner here then we're going to paint along the side. I'm quite pleased with how the paintwork on the other side has gone just surprised that when I got to the bow section and needed to top up my paint that the colour is so completely different. Be that as it may I have decided tonight my last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to rub this side down and get it ready for painting tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do now and then I'm going to go in and squirrel myself away. <laughs> Me, uh, that's me finished for today. <laughs> I've had enough. Simple as that. Need a break from it. Need to just relax, sit down, <laughs> stop this thing. Oh dear. I'll catch up with you again tomorrow when hopefully we'll get this side painted and it will look a lot better than it did just now. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday, 
potentially my last day on the hard stand. <laughs> I do believe I can finish off the boat today so it can go back into the water tomorrow. After a while it gets rather monotonous painting the boat. <laughs> it's exciting to start with but then it sort of wears off. I know I've made some mistakes in my approach to things on this occasion but we learn from our mistakes which is a good thing. I've used different techniques so I've learnt different approaches to painting, what to use, how to do it and so forth. That's also been very helpful. What I really need to do today is finish painting this side. The gunnels at the top need to be finished off. Likewise the gunnel on the other side. I need to touch in the black hull paint in various places along the edge on the other side. At the back beneath the tunnel stripe, the red tunnel stripe just needs that black edging done. I've got to paint my cleat red. <laughs> so there are various jobs to be done and I think it's all achievable. I did start using a roller and then brushing it but it wasn't working very well. So I'm now just brushing. There's no doubt you get good coverage when you just brush. I'm just painting along the top of the gunnels. I did some of it down this way the other day. I'm just painting along here to match up with it. <laughs> So he's doing a great job there. Time for lunch break. I'm not actually sure what the time is. I've finished with the blue paint. I am disappointed with the way this has gone. The two shades that seem to come out of the same tin is very, very awkward. <laughs> it's very, very awkward to sort of touch it and go around because you know they're going to look so different. At least at the front where I have the issue, the side of the uh, cratch cover will cover it over. <laughs> so it's not going to look as bad. But it's, it's a bit of a disaster. I'm pleased with how the blacking has gone. We are going to go around and touch up the blacking, give it another coat in certain places along the waterline, that sort of thing. So we've got that to do. Sally, as you've seen, has done the, the red thing at the front, the cleat. <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called for a moment. Sally's done the cleat at the front, made a good job of that. So I think we are going to be ready to come out of the water. <laughs> I don't think I can bear another bit on land at the moment. <laughs> I want to be floating again. <laughs> just been touching up the bitumen between the black and the blue just to get a straighter line along there. It's very difficult to show you because there's so much glare that you can't actually see what you're doing. It's difficult for me even to see what I'm doing. To, to show you is even more difficult although I have tried. <laughs> I don't know yet if it's worked. I've now finished in the touching up between the hull blacking and the blue paint. <laughs> Last time I had the boat out of the water and I painted the gunnels, I did it in a completely different way. I took the blue paint down over the blacking and then I edged off with a roller which gave a different sort of finish but it was much much quicker than what I've been doing and next time I'll, I'll think about doing it that way again. With the weather we've had this week, at the start of the week it was very wet. We didn't get on in quite the way or order we expected to. But i um, pleased with where we're at at the moment. I'm going to do a little bit more blacking on the sides and that's it.
I'm just giving it a quick third coat in the important places. <laughs> the water line being the main one, I think. Have I mentioned how tiring this job is? <laughs> We've finished the blacking now and the painting. We've got to put back the fenders front and rear. Apart from that, we're done and whacked. At least I'm whacked. I don't know, I don't know how you are. I'm exhausted but, watching uh, you do it all. <laughs> it is exhausting when you watch people work, isn't it? <laughs> so we're nearly there. <laughs> we'll be ready to go back into the water tomorrow. We're just going to have a bit of a breather now and then we'll hook up the fenders. That's the start. Now we do the sides. And I'll tweak these up in a minute. They'll be tight. So that's done. Some people put a sleeve over here to stop the chain from rubbing. It's not something I've given a lot of thought to, but uh, maybe I should. I'll lift this up. Nearly done. You can probably hear it's very windy. It's 10.30 on Monday morning. There are three boats going back in the water today. Overnight it rained horrendously. When we woke up this morning it was windy, raining heavily. The gusts are in the high 30s at the moment and it is bitterly cold out there. Really bitterly cold. So I'm just taking shelter in here and we're waiting for instructions as to what's going to happen next. I think one of my fellow boaters is keen to get back in the water as he's not had a hookup the last week. We've been fortunate in that we've had an electric hookup so we're not desperate in that way. <laughs> but I'm not really keen to go out in this wind I have to say. It is so so windy. If it wasn't for the wind and the icy coldness, it would be a really lovely day. The sun is out, the skies are blue, and we have white fluffy clouds. What could be better? <laughs> I tell you, some warmth would be wonderful. It is freezing out there, freezing. The hydraulics are lifting the boat at the back. Thank you both. Cheers. Cheers. See you later. I hope you've enjoyed this last look at Sally and I black in the boat. Many thanks for watching. Until next time, look after yourselves, your friends and families, and take the utmost care in whatever you're doing. Bye for now.